Hi class. Today is Thursday, April 16th. Today's lesson is lesson 142. Pages are 283 to 284. Okay, let's do our drills. Now we're going to do the twos division tables. Zero divided by two equals zero. Two divided by two equals one. Four divided by two equals two. Six divided by two equals three. Eight divided by two equals four. Ten divided by two equals five. Twelve divided by two equals six. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 22 divided by 2 is 11. And 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to do some clock times now. This clock is set at 7.05, five minutes after 7. If I wanted to set it at 7.15, I would put it on the 3. This is 7.15. You count 5, 10, 15. 7.20, 7.25, 7.30, 7.31, 7.32, 7.45, 7.50, 7.55, and then back to 60 minutes, which would be 8 o'clock. And now we're going to work the class side of page 284. This is the class side of the paper, the one we work together. Number one, write the numbers and the sums. So we are going to write the Roman numerals. What is V11? Remember, V is 5, 1 is 6, and 1 more 1 is 7. So V11 one one is 7. Plus 111, one one. you know 1, 2, 3. So it's 7 plus 3. What is 7 plus 3? Is 10. All right, let's go over here. X, X. You know that one X is 10 and another X is 10. So 10 and 10 is 20. V is 5. 20 plus 5 is 25. L, X, X. Remember, what is L? L is 50. L is 50. X is 10. That's 60. Another X is 10. That's 70. So L, X, X is 70. X, 10. V, 5. 1 is 1. So it's 15 plus 1 is 16. So 10, 15, 16. 70 plus 16 is 86. Okay, those are our Roman numerals. Number two, write the number your teacher says. Now I'm going to say a number two times. And you're going to write this number that I say. So we're going to start with A. Write the number, it's actually a fraction, 5 and 1 fourth. Write 5 and 1 fourth. B, write the number 904 and 7 cents. 904 and 7 cents. C, write the number. 52,030, 52,030. D, write the number, 
5,006. 5,006. Okay, let's go down to number three. Round the numbers that your teacher says to the nearest tens. We've been doing this for two days now, rounding to the nearest tens. Okay, I'm gonna say a number and you're gonna round it off to the nearest tens. A, the number is 58, 58. B, the number is 17, 17. C, the number is 22, 22. D, the number is 55, 55. E, the number is 34, 34. Let's go to number four. Write the answer answers to the combination your teacher says. We do this a lot. A, four times five, four times five. B, 10 plus two, 10 plus two. C, 30 divided by five, 30 divided by five. D, is six plus eight, six plus eight. E, four plus three plus five, four plus three plus five. F, nine, take away six plus four. So it's nine minus six plus four, okay. Let's go to number five. Write the answer to the listening skills questions. Show your work by the camper. Okay, here we go, our listening questions here. Grandma and Grandpa's camper is 12 feet long. The campers park next to theirs at the campground is eight feet long. How many feet longer is grandma and grandpa's camper than the one next to it? So, how we figure this out? We have to figure out. Grandma and grandpa's camper is how many feet long? It's 12 feet long. So, grandma and grandpa's camper is 12 feet long. The camper next to them is eight feet long, eight feet long. How, then it asks how many feet longer is grandma and grandpa's camper than the one next to it? So you would want it to find out how many feet longer grandma and grandpa's are, you wanna subtract. So you subtract. 8 from 12, and you would get 4. So, the difference is 4 feet. The difference of the other camper is 4 feet. So then I come over here and put 4, because 4 feet. Okay, number 6. Write the sum and difference. Those are just easy subtraction and adding. Don't forget to do your borrowing, your zeros here. Borrowing here, zeros here, and some numbers, but you gotta borrow. Adding, and these you can do by yourself. Okay, turn it over. Let's do the seat work side. Estimate each sum. We've been doing the estimating for a while now. So remember, you're gonna estimate 68 rounds to what? 68, eight is the big number here. Eight is a big number, so you know 68 is going to go to the higher number. So 68 is going to round to 70. 32 is the lower number. 2 is a lower number, so 32 is going to round to 30. Add them together, and your answer would be 100. 
And that's how you do that one right next to it and the one underneath it and D all the same way. Number two, grandpa took 19 pictures of moose but didn't like any of them except the last one. How many pictures did he not like? Round 19 to the nearest tens. So how many pictures did he not like? He took 19, he only liked one out of the 19. So one out of the 19 would be, how many did he not like? Out of the 19, he only liked one, so he did not like 18 pictures. Okay, now round 19 to the nearest tens. So we want to round 19 to the nearest tens, and that would go there. Okay, write the missing factors. These are missing numbers. Six times what is going to get me 30? You know that six times five equals 30. Six times five equals 30. And you're gonna do missing numbers on all of these, okay? All missing numbers. Number four, you write the sum and difference. Again, subtraction, addition. Write the answers. Remember how to do the zeros. You gotta borrow, you gotta cross out, do the subtraction, do the addition. Number five, write the answer at the top of the mountain. What you're going to do is you're going to add and subtract 7 plus 3, then you're going to minus 4 plus 2, and then times 2 minus 10 equals a number at the top of the mountain. And that's all for today. Have a great day.